Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So the Worst Rackets Ever series continues today. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is at JP Healy 21 at JP H E A L Y 21. And he says, very funny dude. <laughs> and thank you for all the coffees. I appreciate you so, so much. Oh, we got house blend today. So, you know, maybe with all those coffees you got me, we can get a good one in the next couple of days. But I appreciate you hooking me up with my daily dark roast brew. All right. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day and maybe hook up Elliot for some coffee too. Oh, gotta have a coffee. <laughs> it's right. like we got a Wilson, Wilson. Vox. Yep. Wilson Vox. All right. Thank you, my man. Have a, have a good one. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I finally got my blades. They were on a little bit of a back order. Um, Wilson Blade 1619 in a quarter was on back order for like a month. So if you're looking for blades, they're getting them or your local store will be getting them too. All right, so if you want to hook up my coffee of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. All right. Toast to JP Healy. Two, one. All right. So, third installment of my worst rackets ever. As I get these bad rackets from my memories, um, I will present them to you and call it worst rackets ever. Uh, I know for some reason for the past, I would say two months, there's been people walking in with the opposite experience. They're saying, oh, I played with this hammer 20 years ago and I want to get that racket again because I played so well with it. And I said, that's 20 years ago. I don't think you're the same person. Your opponent ain't the same person. I think you should move on. Because <laughs> I think you're going to be in for a big surprise when you get it. And it's not what you remember. Because a lot has changed in 20 years. I mean, your body has changed. You got 20 years older. That racket is 20 years older too. I mean, I know it's great to hold on to old memories, but, you know, let's let those go because <laughs> you're not going to be that player anymore. So, but speaking of good to bad, so I don't know if you guys remember this series. Um, it was called Wilson Pro Staff, and in some of these, it said Pro Staff Hammer. They added the name Hammer to these two. But in my opinion, these didn't really deserve the name Pro Staff. And I feel like it was when Wilson was going through some things and needing some, you know, names but couldn't come up with them and trying to get on the, uh, the Pro Staff train to sell everything that said Pro Staff. Because, I mean, look at this racket. It is a tapered beam. It's wide here and then gets thin here. It does have the signature PWS, which is the only thing going for it. But this racket flexed weird. I mean, it, it's... If you hit it here, you were probably okay. If you hit it a little high, it actually flexed in a weird spot because of this tapered beam. There was an oversized version of this too. There was a 5.5 version of this too. And I believe that one might have been called Pro Staff Hammer. At some point, they added Hammer to the name just to see if it would sell. Um, that 5.5 was all black. I was trying to find one for you guys too to show you. 
but yeah, these should not have been called Pro Staff. Um, I put a new grip on it. It is a four and a half. And you know what? I want to weigh this up. Let's just grab a quick scale. I just want to weigh it up. Actually, you know what? You know what? Actually, I want to throw it on the Tune Pro just to see if there's something wrong with the weight balance or anything like that. With the overgrip on and the crazy dampener. Hold on. There. Now we're ready. Zero it out. Here we go. Whoa. Massive numbers here. 364.5. That's a big number right there. <clears throat> That's not bad, though. This is the only way that this goes through. In a... It's okay. Okay. It's okay. We'll do it again. Okay. Whoa. That's a big number for a racket like this. Uh, three, 314 isn't bad. This is the only way this racket goes through um, with any kind of speed. But that's like, this is fed range. Like a fed racket all s weighted up and gripped and everything. It is heavier than that. Jeez, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the swing weight here. <coughs> I bet you my buddy Kevin Chu would want this racket. He likes all these bad rackets that I don't like. 345. There's a lot coming through. All right, well, let's see if it still plays as bad as it did back in the day from what I remember. See you on the court. And this is number three in our Worst Rackets Ever Made series. I called Coach Rob because, unfortunately, Wilson falls into this one. Oh, <laughs> well, they can't all be great. This is true. I mean, Wilson's made mistakes, and I feel like this is one of their biggest mistakes. Um, this is the Pro Staff 5.5 in the 95. Which I don't even remember this racket. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't worth remembering. Um, so there was a 4.5 version of this, a 6.0 version of this. I think this. I remember the 4. Was the 4.5 a more popular... Yeah, so it was a little stiffer. Yes, a little it was more, more of a wide body throw. Yeah. yeah, but it was still kind of the same thing. Thick in the throat right. and then tapered off yes, at the Yes, the end. dual taper beam. Yeah. yeah. Dual garbage theme <laughs> bracket. I did, you know, I, I'm just so mad that they actually made this racket and called it a pro staff. Right. It does not belong with the name. Nope. Um, I feel like at one point they actually called this Pro Staff Hammer just to bring like double validity to double dual taper. Right. So right. they double negatives don't equal a positive. True. <laughs> True. So, <laughs> so I deem this one of the worst rackets they ever made. This and the 4 or 5. I hated both of them. Uh, the four or five, I remember some people. We had people that kind of like that. They like that stiffer frame. Right. This one, I don't remember the five point okay. five. I think the only one that really did well in the whole line was the six point oh. Hmm. And as if you guys don't remember, the six point oh was a baby blue version of this. Nothing resembling any kind of pro staff. That's a real pro staff. Okay. And the four or five was kind of like a grayish, blackish. Correct. Yeah. Darker. Darker. Than yeah, this. darker than yeah. this. Yeah. But it had kind of. It was a little weird. more like this. Yes. All the way around. Yes. Darker right. though. Darker. Right. And then the the writing was kind of a royalish blue kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let's go hit with it, Coach Rob, and see if if I still think it's the worst, and if you maybe can jog your memory to see if. Uh, you, so you want to knock some of the dust off it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right.
worst. All right, so we just got off the court with what I deemed as one of the worst rackets Wilson has ever made. Coach Rob just hit with it with me. Um, I don't know what he's going to say, but let's hear it. Well, I'd definitely say it wasn't the worst racket I've ever hit with. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the wide beam in the uh, Wilson dual taper beam system, but um, for an old racket, you know, it's got the red W worn off, so it's been used a lot by somebody. Um, I, I wasn't a big fan, but I would definitely say it's not the worst racket I've ever used. Um, the ball did kind of jump off the racket. It was a little stiffer than I thought it was going to be since it was a 5.5. Five. I was thinking maybe, you know, it felt more like maybe the ball was jumping off like it was a 4 or a 3, but yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you this question. Do, is it worthy of the pro staff name? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would it be worthy of a hammer name? Yes. Okay. So I guess maybe it should have been called Hammer 5-5 five five instead. Um, so here's the thing. From my recollection, I used to think that this is the worst flexing playing racket ever. Um, me hitting with Coach Rob today, I may have, nah, <laughs> I didn't change my mind. Uh, it played a little better than I actually thought it did and would. It definitely plays better than that other two that I deemed as bad. You're going to have to look at those videos there. It could be the old nylon string that doesn't do a lot for you. Yeah, no, I mean, I've, just from back in the day, mm -hmm. I just remember this racket as not being one of my favorites. Um, this actually felt okay today. It, it, it kind of pushed through. I like the weight distribution. Um, the strings were actually fine. Even with that old dampener in there, it, it didn't feel horrible. So... Um, would I still say this is the worst racket ever? I say it's the third, um, probably the worst from Wilson. Um, guys, tell me if I'm wrong though. If you guys know of a worser Wilson, put it on the link below. And if I agree with you, I will find those rackets or that racket and keep going on with the worst series. All right. Coach Rob, thank you for testing it with me. Sure. Um, dual taper beam, no good. Just a countervail, no good. Ooh, countervail. Maybe you can start a bad one on that series. What do you think, Coach Rob? No. <laughs> All right. Coach Rob, thank you so much. Sure. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Coach. What's up, Barry? What you got there today? Oh, just wanted to try out the new whiteout and then obviously got my blackout with some new strings in there. So I want to test it out with you. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Um, what you got there, Coach? Oh, well, I mean, if we're going to test out your rackets today, I thought we'd just test out my rackets today. What, what do you think? Sure, Coach. If you want that perfect coach or partner who is a racket junkie just like you play your court is the place they have over 27,000 players for you to choose from it's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin